Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can fix some of the most common tracking issues with the MetaQuest 2 and MetaQuest 3 VR headsets. This can also be useful for future headsets, keep this in mind. This can lead to an issue where the camera doesn't track your hands properly or your body properly in the uh, real world space. So let's jump into it and I'll show you some different solutions. The first one is very common, using your headset in poor lighting conditions. So basically what you need to do is turn on the lights. Make sure there is enough light in the room. As you can see I'm turning on the lights, this enables better tracking in general. On the other hand, also avoid very bright, again, uh, environments, so both very bright or very dark environment, as extreme lighting condition can disrupt tracking. Let's move on to the next one. The next one, uh, the reason is objects blocking the camera view uh, or reflecting surfaces can interfere with tracking. The solution is simple, clear your play area of obstructions and cover or remove reflective surfaces. This includes mirrors, glass tables and glossy surfaces. You can see here that once I put it underneath there, the wood it didn't actually track the, the hands, the controller position properly. You see here? It's not in sync. Now, does fingerprints or obstruction on cameras can impair the ability to track accurately? The solution is simple. Clean the cameras with microfiber cloth to ensure they are free of dirt and smudges. For the Quest 3 camera, it's at the front. For my old and dirty Quest 2, the cameras, you can see them, four of them, each corner. So make sure to clean them properly. Now, bugs or glitches in the software can cause tracking problems as well. What you can do is just press the restart button or the start button, hold and press it until you see restart and restart your headset. Next thing we must sure your quest is updated, you click quick settings and then settings and then go down, go back and then here go to system, scroll down until you see software update and make sure that you don't see a blue button to update. If you see, update your quest to the latest firmware and try again. So again, you go to quick settings and then settings and then in system, scroll down until you see software update and then click the button if it's blue to update. Another thing can be that the controllers themselves may lose tracking due to various reasons. Ensure the controllers have fresh batteries, restart the controllers by holding down the Oculus button, uh, meta button for a few seconds. If the problem continues, try unpairing and then repairing the controllers in the device settings. Sometimes there's also a problem with the connectors of the batteries, you can actually check my channel for solutions for that, that actually prevent the batteries from actually uh, making the controller work. If you want to pair the controllers again, go to the meta app on your phone. Go to menu, devices, choose the, your quest. If it said not found, make sure Bluetooth is on. Then under your quest headset, uh, down manage your device, you can see headset settings turned on. It's not grayed out. If it's grayed out, wait a bit. Hopefully it will turn on again because of the Bluetooth connection. Then in the headset setting, choose controllers. And here you have the options to pair uh, a new controller again. Choose pair new controller and then you can choose uh, new controllers to pair. The other thing is can be related to interference from other electronic devices. Ignore the gameplay, it's not related. So basically other electronic devices, especially those that emit infrared light, can interfere with tracking. The solution, turn off or move away from devices that might be causing interference, such as TVs, monitors or other VR systems. Next thing is the play area boundaries may be not set correctly. So if you go to the drawer and click the quick settings, you can see boundary option. So we need to reset your guardian boundary in a well-lit environment, ensuring the play area is correctly defined and free of obstructions. You can define, of course, if you want a stationary room scale, it's up to you, or just rely on the Quest 3 scanning your area. So make sure to try it again and see if it works for you. If it doesn't work, let's move to another option. Next, we're gonna check the tracking frequency settings. We go to uh, quick settings. All right, and then we're gonna to go to settings. Then we're gonna click system. 
And then on the left, headset tracking. Make sure headset tracking is turned on, which is supposed to be blue. All right, so again, I'm gonna show you system, headset tracking, make sure it's turned on blue. And you can actually play with the tracking frequency. It's auto by default, but you can try a different settings like 50 or 60 and see if it works out for you. Now, other things to consider is direct sun exposure, including, for example, like if you have LED strips and bright lights. Uh, so if any of you have excessive LED strips uh, in your room, maybe you want to probably turn them off and try again. Also, by the way, interference, interferences from Wi-Fi routers or Bluetooth devices might interfere with the tracking signals. So make sure to check it out as well. Another thing, make sure your Quest headset has good charge, the battery levels of the Quest if you're using it untethered. If you have a floor that's very reflective, try changing a room or put a carpet, for example, and try it again. Also check out the LED lights on your controller that are not obstructed by dirt. Basically, if you can see the LED lights, uh, make sure your controller is clean. Also check the temperature of the Quest. It might be overheating, uh, might be again a problem with the hardware itself. So it might want to consider taking it to a repair shop. And that's about it. Uh, enjoy your VR and hopefully one of these uh, solutions help you out. If you know other things, other causes, let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.